and welcome back to White Mountain Today. We have Mr. Thomas Prindle from Wildcat and Ad Touch. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Kelly. Vacation week. I know, huh? <laughs> what a week it's been. It's been so exciting to finally have some real natural snow here. And, and it seemed uh, to work out. A little storm action, and now yeah. we have colder temperatures, which, you know, it's... Which is great for snowmaking, and that natural snow, I mean, we had absolutely no base for the entire month of December. So now having that natural snow, that actually assists our snowmakers right. because there's something on the ground there and it's a little bit quicker um, for them to be covering trails. So uh, they're going to be working around the clock as really cold temperatures start to move yeah, in here. Arctic blast. Yeah, <laughs> Arctic blast coming in, which is good. You know, if we get good dry air and really cold temps, that's really right. sort of the key to some really productive snowmaking. And our snowmakers have been at it around the clock whenever possible and we continue to do so, just looking to expand terrain as quickly as possible. Wonderful. So. Now, let's talk about, we have a lot of apparatus stuff to talk about. Let's sure. talk about trail picks, though. If you're going to hit at attach today, where would you go? I think you mentioned a little bit ago, Illusion mm -hmm. uh, over at Bear Peak is awesome right now, top to bottom. Um, Illusion is just one of those those uh, sort of sought after trails that really a lot of people like to go to. It's definitely, a, you know, it's a homologated uh, Super G and GS race trail, but this time of year for the general public, it's, it's awesome skiing and riding. And uh, I would pick that as, as the go-to start. The other thing I can mention over at Bear Peak is we have a new waffle cabin. What? Yeah, a waffle <laughs> cabin over at uh, the base of Bear Peak there. I think people are familiar with these waffle cabins. They're at oh quite goodness. a few uh, different yeah. ski areas. It's kind of a franchise. But we have a new uh, cabin at the base of Bear Peak. And when you walk into the base area, you just kind of get that aroma mm. of waffles. And they drizzle chocolate. It's just, it's. Uh, I had one yesterday. And I was like, oh my god, these are so good. So, <laughs> like, darn it, i got to go ski. So yeah, so you can start your morning and you know, get a little yeah. uh, carbs on your belt and then just kind of rip turns on uh, illusion. Great, okay. Yeah. And heading on up to Wildcat. There's Wild a picture Cap. of it right yeah, there. There it is yeah. right there. Girl Eliza. A little She's, hot cocoa. Yeah, a little Eliza. hot cocoa. Eliza's there. She works for Waffle Cabin and uh, it's pretty cool. That is awesome. Yeah. So up to Wildcat we'd go. We have skiing and riding top to bottom. Yeah, and I would, you know, today's choice I would say, uh, you know, check out Polecat. It's uh, New Hampshire's longest novice trail just under uh, three miles in length and uh, it's uh, a great, you know, sort of summit to base uh, leg warm up you know, type of <laughs> nice. skiing, um, and it's uh, they just groomed it all out this past week, and uh, like I said, open top to bottom, so definitely check that out. And what I like about uh, your ski reports, too, I go online every mm -hmm. morning and check them out, and you are honest about where people can go, because you had a couple novice uh, areas that were just dumping in snow, like snow yep. making, so you've since pushed those out and they're back to beginner. Yeah, areas. exactly. I mean, sometimes with the snowmakers, you know, with, with the snowmaking, sometimes you want to leave that new snow, let it dry out, let yeah. it sort of, sort, of, sort of the water content drain before you really start to push it out and groom it. So, yeah, sometimes if you're on novice trails or beginner trails, you've got the big, you know, snowmakers terrain park on there, nice big piles, which <laughs> right. are lots of fun. They are fun. Uh, but the kids it may love not, them. Yeah, the kids love them, adults love them too. <laughs> and, uh, it's uh, sometimes it's not quite the category of trail that it that sure. it might initially be when it's groomed out. So yeah. And so that's where Ski Wildcat comes in. It's a great resource uh, before you head out the door to check that out. And there's also pre-purchase deals that you can get from Ski Wildcat. Yeah, definitely e-tickets. Uh, if you check out adattach.com and skiwildcat.com, you can generally, right up until midnight the day before, you can generally go online and get a ticket discount when you pre-purchase your uh, lift tickets in awesome. advance. And the thing I should mention is that uh, obviously all of our lift tickets are valid for use at both Adatash and Wildcat. Perfect. And this time of year with terrain expanding, I mean, we have over 125 acres of terrain available to skiers and riders between the two mountains. Uh, so it's the type of thing, uh, and a lot of people do do this. Yeah. Is they what might a great marriage that was. Yeah, it was really a, definitely a good sort of uh, uh, marriage, like you said, where, you, you know, just literally 20 minutes from parking lot to parking lot, but you have such a significant difference in sort of the type of terrain and elevation difference. Mm -hmm. um, it really, you know, you can start your day up at Wildcat Mountain, uh, riding the Summit Quad High Speed Lift uh, over 2,100 vertical feet, and you can really get some vertical under your belt, you know, right in the morning. Take a break, grab some lunch. You know, you can grab some lunch at uh, Wildcat okay. or Adatash or maybe stop in Jackson <laughs> on the way down and then finish your day. You know, maybe pull right up to Bear Peak and finish your That's day there perfect. or go to Adatash and finish your day there and then enjoy the Apre and live music at uh, Very nice. Adatash. Which yeah. we're going to talk about in just a few, but I just want to mention yeah. real qu uh, quick, the vertical value card also pertains to bro both mountains Awesome as well. deal. Yeah, really a great way to, you know, if you're going to be skiing and riding at Adatash and Wildcat and Crotchet Mountain too down in southern New Hampshire, uh, the vertical value card, you buy that for $99. It comes with an any day ticket on it. Yeah. Uh, you can you don't have to use it the first day. You can save it for a holiday or a weekend period, but uh, you get lift ticket savings all season long, uh, 10 to 50% off. So basically 50% awesome. off lift tickets midweek, non-holiday, 
25% off on non-holiday weekends and even 10% off during holiday periods. And there's other benefits with that that you can uh, bring a friend on non-holiday Mondays and Wednesdays and that friend gets a di uh, half price ticket. So Great. a lot of good things there and a lot of information that uh, people can find at adattach.com and skiwildcat.com. <laughs> there you go. Okay, yep. so you got the deals under your belt. Now let's talk a little app racing because you sure. guys have it kicking up in both areas. Yep. Uh, the holiday week, we definitely have had uh, music going uh, all week long uh, at Adatash up in Ptarmigan's Pub and over at the Den at Bear Peak. And uh, this afternoon upstairs in Ptarmigan's, we have Pat Foley, who is uh, quite popular, and he will bring his full band down to uh, Ptarmigan's Pub today. Uh, he awesome. plays a lot up at Wildcat, but we've had him uh, playing shows down at Adatash too. Popular. So, Yeah, very popular. And then, uh, as we were talking a little bit earlier, Jonathan Sardi, who's quite popular as his full band, uh, definitely in the Mount Washington Valley, and he does his Cold River radio show. Right. And he's, you know, quite a, a talented artist, musician, uh, band leader, and just, you know, really uh, an artist. And they uh, do a lot of covers, but also a lot of originals. A lot of original music, and it's a unique situation today that Jonathan's going to be playing solo over at Bear Peak in the Den. Uh, so that's a really awesome. small, intimate environment to be able to, to check out Jonathan Sardi playing over there today uh, at the base of Bear Peak. So. Very cool. And what time does that start? Do you know? Uh, I believe it, for the Den, it starts at... One or two. Two o'clock. Well, you can check the website. Yeah, I think too. it's two o'clock for the so, den, and then at Ptarmigan's it starts at three o'clock and okay. goes till uh, I think about six o'clock. So. Okay, wonderful. Okay, yeah. so we got the app racing. What else? I know you. Yeah, um, I want to mention that up at Wildcat, we also have app ray going on. Mm. Um, I do want to mention every Friday. Uh, afternoon, uh, we sort of have a residency with uh, local uh, musician artist Ryan St. Ange. Oh, yeah, he's Yeah, great. he's quite popular. Yeah. And he's basically playing up a Wildcat Mountain every Friday afternoon. Nice. So I just want to mention that and plug that so people can check him out every Friday afternoon. And then today up there in the pub, we have Justin James playing. So, uh, again, another great spot to be enjoying mm. after a day of skiing and riding, uh, the Wildcat Pub. Up there third is, floor in the lodge. Yeah, third floor, top floor at the lodge. So, yeah. Very cool. And we can't forget Tuesday Race League starts up. Yeah, thanks for mentioning. Yeah, uh, the Adatash Race League is uh, obviously another local race league. There's lots of great local race leagues around here. Adatash is every Tuesday, and uh, it starts up this week. And we don't have the normal venue, uh, which would be Spillway, uh, quite ready. So it's rather unique. This year, we're going to be starting the first race over on Illusion. Oh, really? So, okay. yeah, it's, we're kind of excited to be doing that. I mean, it's not the normal thing we'd want to be doing, but we're able to accommodate it over there yeah. and kick off the race league. And there's still opportunities for people to get involved with the Adatash Race League. It's nine weeks of racing, but there are also some weeks there that you can take advantage of the benefit of skiing on the Tuesday, even though it's not a race league. Yeah. Um, and I will say it's $100 to uh, sign up to be part of the race league, and that includes your lift ticket uh, for all those Tuesdays. So basically you have an opportunity um, to be skiing, you know, I think... Well, up to 12 weeks? Up to 12 weeks, but it, it would have yeah. started uh, last week. So, so you've missed weeks. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Nine <laughs> weeks of racing. So nine, nine weeks for sure, definitely with the racing. And uh, and then they have a post-week party. And cool. there's all types of, uh, they do, uh, he does, uh, Corey does great, like, sort yeah. of post-race party up in um, Ptarmigan's where they do prize giveaways and stuff. And it's lots of fun. And uh, we video it, the racing. And it's, it's a great opportunity for people to be getting out weekly. And again, for $100, uh, to get that much skiing and riding is, is a great deal. Absolutely. And then last thing, the, well, no, not last thing. We have two more things. We have the youth pay their age, and then we also have the Guinness Book thing. Yes, next Sunday is uh, another great ticket opportunity in addition to the uh, e-tickets we talked about in the vertical value card. We do have these sort of uh, deals, these uh, special date deals, lift ticket deals going on all season long. And one of the first ones is next Sunday, January 10th. It's youth pay their age. It's pretty straightforward. That's awesome. Yeah, ages 6 to up to 18 will pay their age. Uh, and this is a ticket discount that's available right at the window. Great. Uh, so you don't need to pre-purchase or anything like that. Uh, definitely encourage people on the Sunday, January 10th to bring friends, family, whoever. Yeah. Bring all the kids, 6 to 18, and they're going to pay their age. So. Okay, and then just tell me real quick about the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, Guinness Book of World, uh, what's going to be the world's largest ski and snowboard lesson, and this is not just happening at Adatash and Wildcat. This is happening across the nation in a number of different ski areas, and it's part of the January Learn to Ski and Snowboard Month campaign. Um, all For the entire month of January, we're offering our day one program, which includes lift ticket, uh, a three-hour lesson and your rental equipment. Normally the price of that day one package, and it's a great way to introduce anyone to the sport of skiing and snowboarding, normally it's $65. For the mm. entire month of January, we're doing it for $29, excluding January 16th through the 18th, which is the MLK weekend. Oh, okay, great. But for the entire month of January, yeah. people can uh, sign up for that for $29. But uh, this Friday, January 8th, a little bit uh, 
better discount, I guess, yeah. is uh, world's largest ski and snowboard lesson. We're doing that same package for only $10. Wow. So oh, yeah. And, and some uh, rules and restrictions apply, and you do need to reserve a spot for this January It's for deal. ages 13 and up, yeah. so I will mention that, but ages 13 and up, if you know anyone that's looking to get into the sport of skiing and snowboarding and develop a new winter passion, uh, this is a great way. You gotta ski and snowboard around here. <laughs> you have to, well, yeah. Or like cross country or snowshoe, you gotta get you out gotta and enjoy it. You gotta take advantage of winter. Yeah. yeah, and skiing and snowboarding is definitely an it's opportunity. Wonderful. And, you know, I will say to anyone that's looking to get into the sport of skiing and snowboarding, uh, be careful of going with like a significant other or, you know. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's, it's one of those things where you really, it's better for you to, to go learn. with a professional and yeah. somebody who's just Absolutely. gonna be, you know, committed to kind of teaching you soup right. and nuts as to you know right. getting into this and it's so. so much fun once you get that you know something will just click and then you get it but up until that it's it's work you're going to be working out there but it's yeah. for a great exercise and fun and a great lifestyle yeah and these programs are great because i mean it introduces you not just to going right to the slope but you know understanding what the equipment's all mm. about how to care i mean just a simple thing as to how to carry the equipment you <laughs> right. see people just struggle like you know what i mean just like fumbling and everything right. it's just there's simple ways to carry it and just just little things like that that can right. make your introduction to little the sport etiquette just, yeah yeah so. <laughs> very cool all right yeah. thomas i think we hit most of the things i think once again i've I talked think, a yeah, lot Hans is so. like get out yeah <laughs> but anyway it's great to see you happy great new year yeah happy new year and to you i too, will Kelly. see you up on the slopes of wildcat sure. and of course at adatash as well for yeah. a little apres scene too yeah Definitely. All right, folks, we'll be back. We have more to talk about, including Watch and Win, of course. We'll have another look at the event calendar and maybe a little look at Wildcat and Ag Test Skiing as well. All right.